All right, family, it's time for a pick six. Okay, a lot of great quarterback-coach combinations. Remember, the key to a Super Bowl is not just about a coach. It's not just about a quarterback. It's about the combination of the two. So I'm going to take you all through all of the land of the NFL and give you all the top six coach-quarterback combinations. Let's get number one out the way. We already know what that is, the Chiefs with Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes. Boom, that is done. Now we're going to go from six down to two. At number six... Dallas Cowboys is where I'm going. Mike McCarthy, Dak Prescott, 19 and 9 over the last two seasons. Think about what they have done collectively. Mike McCarthy has already won a Super Bowl individually. Dak Prescott, you know he is a top flight NFC quarterback talent. That combination land in my top six. At number five, Doug Peterson, Trevor Lawrence. Mm. Doug Peterson, he won a Super Bowl more recently than Mike McCarthy. Trevor Lawrence, he should be more talented than just about any other quarterback that I am going to name on this list. Won the AFC South last year. Completely turned that organization around. Went from worst to first. We'll see if they can duplicate it again. At number four, Nick Sirianni and Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurst is an absolute stud. All pro, hard to do. I want to see just what Nick Sirianni will continue to grow and mature into. But early on in both of their careers, you've already seen them go to a Super Bowl. Incredible success. At number three, John Harbaugh, Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson, a unanimous MVP, unanimously. John Harbaugh, he's been to a Super Bowl. He's won a Super Bowl. That combination, if Lamar can stay healthy, is lethal. At number two, Joe Burrow. Zach Taylor, whenever Burrow is healthy, they are in the AFC Championship game. Y'all know that's a big deal. Only team better than them, only combo better than them. Mahomes, Andy Reid. James Jones. Come on. What up, baby? What's up, dog? I need to hear awesome. your list. Talk to me. Pick six. Where you at? Your top combination. Pick six. I'm starting at six. Pick six. I've got Derek Carr and Dennis Allen, right? Wow. They are familiar with each other. Dennis Allen drafted Derek Carr. Chemistry, Derek Carr balled out his rookie year. Now you get him with Alvin Kamara, Michael Thomas, Chris Olave with a defensive-minded head coach and Dennis Allen. Probably going to be playing with some leads as well. So Derek Carr going to be able to shred some people up. We've seen him in the first preseason game. They kind of look a little bit unstoppable. I'm I like okay with Allen your five. Carr. We'll address that later. Yeah. Man. So we'll address that later. Uh -huh. Five makes sense, obviously. Yes, absolutely. Mike McCarthy put some respect on his name. I've been telling y'all. I mean, come on, best record in the NFC since Coach Mike came over there to the Dallas Cowboys. That's called changing that thing around over there. Dak Prescott, y'all already know I'm a believer in They're going to get it done. How do you have a combination with Robert Sala when Robert Sala is a losing head coach? Ah, uh, well, that's because he didn't have Aaron Rodgers. We're talking about quarterback head coach combination. He didn't have the future Hall of Fame quarterback in Aaron Rodgers. And last time Robert Sala was on a team where they was playing with some leads, he had a big time. You know defense. what I realized? And that's why the Jets hired him. You know what I realized? He's going to be playing with some leads this with Aaron Rodgers. This, this isn't pick six. Defense. This was pick your friend. <laughs> no. Because you played with Derek Carr. You played right? for Mike McCarthy. Mm. You played with Aaron Rodgers. This is just pick your homeboys. It's just, it's just good matchups right there. Good defensive coordinator, very good quarterback. Good defensive coordinator, great quarterback. Okay, they get, to, play well get off to, each to number other. three, please. And then we know Burrow Taylor. I mean, we see that year after year after year. I mean, the way they design the stuff up, the playmakers that he has over there, Chase, Higgins, Boyd, all those boys over there going to work. They're going to be in the mix again. They just know what they're doing. Lastly. And Sirianni Hurts, right? You said went to a Super Bowl, then you add him more weapons. Yeah. Jalen Hurts is only going to grow under Sirianni and this offense. Don't be surprised if you see them boys in another Super Bowl. And then, like you said, numero uno. Enough is said. That's Andy easy, Green, America. Patty Mahomes. That's easy. Let's head, let's head to the desk, Jay. Let's head to the desk. Let's head to the desk. 2-5. <laughs> you played for all the great quarterback coach combinations. You can go back to Andy Reid, Mike Vick. You can fast forward to Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid. You can cut to Tom Brady and Bruce Arians. Mm. You also played with Josh Allen, Sean McDermott. Quite literally, everywhere you went was a phenomenal quarterback I've been coach blessed. combination. I've been pretty blessed. No blessed. And you got two rings to show for it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Uh, two five, best combination, obviously, outside of Mahomes. And uh, I'm going to go Nick Sirianni. And Jalen Hurts. Huh? I know you're going to say I'm biased, but let's think about it for a second. Jalen had some shaky years mm -hmm. early. Sirianni stayed with him. Sirianni's a winning coach, right? And I think that the success he's having is him and Jalen together. First year, they go to the playoffs, mm -hmm. right? Sirianni's first year, go to the playoffs. Second year, go to the Super Bowl. Third year, I don't know. We're favorite to win the NFC again. Maybe it's another Super Bowl. So I just look at how they work together, right? And I, I look at Jalen's development 
ain't that by surprise. Mm -hmm. Now, granted, he is a, a, a coach's son. I think coach's sons are, are different when it comes to playing sports. But when you have a, 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 a coach that believes in you, right, and he sticks behind you no matter what happens, you see the results. I think a lot of his development with Jalen Hurts has a lot to do with Nick Sirianni working with him. The only reason I didn't have them hire Joy is because Nick Sirianni without Jalen Hurts, I don't know how good he is individually. Shady brought up great points. It might be a new point because we're talking about combinations, obviously. Yeah. But when I they saw... Growing, they, they growing together, though. It's a phenomenal point. That's right. But I see the Cowboys, I think, are like 5-1 and one without, with Cooper Rush, without Dak Prescott. So I'm like, you know what, McCarthy? I trust you yeah. individually, like isolated. When I saw what the Eagles were without Jalen Hurts last year with Gardner Minshew, who by all accounts should be better than Cooper Rush, mm -hmm. uh, has more playing experience, okay. has right. been a starter. I was like, I was disappointed. Like, I was actually disappointed with Sirianni without Jalen Hurts. But, but, but the, the, the question was... Combos. The, the combos, yeah. Yeah. right? And Sirianni, in his career, right, in the two years, he's, what, 22 and 8? Yeah. I would take that. Yeah, no doubt. Second year going to the Super Bowl? No doubt. You would take that, too. Of course. Come on, now. Yeah, hard, hard to do. Hard to do. Uh, I got to go with Hurts and Sirianni, too. Now, I went off of the most recent. That, like, I think we all have a different explanation for our pick six criteria. <laughs> I'm looking at talking to you, James. Because <laughs> um, historically speaking, I would put Burrow and Taylor there. Mm. If we're looking at, at two? the... Uh, at two, okay. yes. But I'm, I'm, I'm using my own criteria of the most recent. I can't ignore the fact that Jalen Hurts was an All-Pro last year right. and that they were in the Super Bowl. Well, obviously, there's a reason we're ranking number two because Reed and Mahomes, there's no right. point in, in discussing, obviously. So, so to me, it's Hurts. If it's the most recent, historically, I would go Burrow and Taylor. But, but... I'm going to go ahead and just change the course of this conversation because I was a little confused. I keep looking at these lists. We just, we're done with Josh Allen and, and McDermott. Mm. I love that matchup. Uh, I love Shady? them too. I've been there with them. That's a great combination. Well, Shady and I only didn't give our list. We oh, only gave two. Yeah, we wasn't. We talking yeah, to y'all two. Y'all yeah. two <laughs> Play are the ones you know who made these lists. I, yeah. I didn't give my list. So why no Allen and... I have my reasons. McDermott. What's the reasons? I want to know. My strongest reason, and I don't know if this will check out. Uh, yeah, I guess all of my list, you see offensive coach, you see quarterback, because obviously quarterbacks are offensive yeah. players. So you won't see on my list a defensive coach with a quarterback. because Not a defensive coach up there. We're, uh, Harbaugh, 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 Harb
and the Cowboys don't do nothing. And they do the same thing every year. Lose to, the, lose to the same team actually every year in the yeah. playoffs. Every time. So I just want to know why. Why do you guys... I mean, once again, if you think once about again? the fact that the Cowboys are and McCarthy, Dak and McCarthy are 19-9 over the last two years. Now, the Bills are really good as well. But I'm talking about trajectory. Like, when I think about these teams the last three years, two years ago, Dak Prescott was hurt. Two years ago, the Cowboys won 12. Last year, the Cowboys won 12. Cowboys have won 12 games in back-to-back -back seasons for the first time, I believe, since the Barry Switzer era. So I'm looking at the Cowboys trending upwards. I'm looking at the Bills trending downwards. I'm looking at Josh Allen. He hasn't corrected the mistakes he's made since the 2020 playoffs against the Houston Texans when he lost his mind in the fourth quarter. Like, that's, that's kind of, that's and, my reason. And, so, I, and, we, and we're talking on. about you, 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 can, you can say that. You can, you can sit there and say that with, a, with an honest look on your face about, about Josh Allen turning the ball over, but you ain't say a word about the other guy. The guy led the league in picks we, last we year. We said so much about it. This is <laughs> it's like, it's like, I gotta be, I, you know what? Josh, Josh Allen led that thing in turnovers, but at, at the same time, we're talking about coach. That's not true. That's not true. Josh led the league say in it again. Josh led the league in turnovers. Yes. Oh, so we're talking about turnovers in general. Yes, okay, fumbles, okay, interceptions. Okay. He led the league in turnovers last year, right? And then you talk about a head coach. A lot of people be forgetting how great of a head coach Mike is. Mike won a chip. Sean McDermott ain't got no chip. We talking yeah. about coach-player combination, right? And Coach Mike has taken over this play calling. A guy that has won a chip, I truly believe they need to be up there above Josh Allen and them because I've been in the offense that Mike McCarthy is about to call this place for Dak. Wait, and wait, you wait. will see Dak succeed you're, in this offense. Years and ago. not turn the ball over the way he turned the ball you're, over this year. With years Pace. ago, I guess. That's why I'm yeah, taking You play wide receiver, you didn't play, you no. retired years ago, but I guess if they asked you to go out in the field, you could do it again, right? <laughs> Red right Riding the bike. Red zone only. I get, I get it. He's talking about the guy I called plays years ago. I, years ago. You don't think McCarthy uh, can still call these plays? I mean, do I you? I don't know. He was calling plays. years ago. Who was, he, who was throwing the ball when he was calling plays? Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers. And how much... Uh, hold up. Last thing. That's a great point because y'all know from playing a game where if you have a quarterback like an A-Rod where you give him more leeway to do your thing. That I know I might call a play, but you know what? You got it. You got it, A-Rod. With Dak, I don't think he's giving him all that type of... Control? Because if he does, you guys know the Bro, results. He just told you Mike 5-1 and one with Cooper Rush. Man. You see that team? Like, you see that team? What I'm saying, we talking you about you see that team? quarterback but, combo. But, but, correct. But here's the other thing, though, Shady. This, he, is, he, this is the first year in a long time, be honest, that you would say the Cowboys have a better roster than the Bills. This, this year is last, where the pendulum swung. Last year, they were, they were more top. I wouldn't have said last year. Why not? No, so because, tell me why not. Because last year, CeeDee Lamb is not an all-pro yet. Last year, CeeDee Lamb, we were Let, like, oh, how is he going to be? Wait, talking about, talking about the, the, the year just passed. He, yeah. he was an all pro. He was really, really good. He was a good wide receiver, right? Yeah. Okay, so if you look at the Cowboys team compared to the Bills, Von Miller, we talked about Von Miller, he was hurt. He didn't play. Correct. I'm saying this time last year, we would have said the Bills yeah, but roster. We know the results that last right. year. Right. We know the like, results. We, of course, we wouldn't have, we yeah, might yeah, have yeah. argued the, the that. Cowboys but, but ultimately, now we know the Cowboys they did. ultimately ended up having a better roster due to Micah Hyde being injured with a neck injury, due to Von Miller getting hurt, et cetera. Right. I mean, that, that counts. So, so, that, so, that counts. That's what so, happened. so, really quick, who would you guys take off of Acho's list to put Josh Allen in them in? I would take Lawrence and Peterson off that list, yeah. For sure. I'm up. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. That, hold up. And I, and, taking, I, and, I, and I love Doug, and I think that Doug they will be. Amazing. I think they will be what better Doug, this year. Over there and did in the trending. first year. When I yeah, agree, Doug, but I'm not yeah, going to nah, ignore nah. what Josh like Allen Doug, and, and McDermott have done for the for, like I don't. But Doug, you, and, like, we don't even know if the Jets are going to win the division. Like, what are we talking about here? I just, feel, I just want Bills Mafia. I want this noted, okay, <laughs> just for the record, that I think this is a little oh. reactionary. I think we're a little tired of picking Josh Allen of winning in the MVP. I think we're a little tired of them making, picking them to make it to the Super Bowl. I'm not jumping off the bandwagon this early. It's feeling like I it's mean, hot in there. Doug, <laughs> Doug, no, Doug's great. I'm going to leave Doug on there because Doug is really, really good. So off of I, I chose take, this. Who are you taking? I'm taking off them, them cowboy guys. Them cowboys, them stars, I'm taking them off. That's fair. Take that That's off. A, I, I won't argue that. I won't so argue Coach that. Mike, so Coach Mike winning a chip, Coach Player combination means nothing. Because I'm, I'm just saying, Sean McDermott ain't been there. We talk, we, but listen, we talking about right, about right now. now. You, you talking about years ago? When, when was that? 2011? It don't. It don't. Hold on, hold on. Hold, no, 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 no. It does matter. We talking about 2011. You know what I was doing in 2011? What you doing? See what I'm saying? I don't even know. Oh, <laughs> but we talking about 2011. We talking about right now, brother. Right now. The only, you, you keep Come bringing on. up them getting beat in the playoffs. The Bills they get both, beat in the playoffs. They, they, so, so why are you taking them off? That's what I'm saying. Beat. What's but your the argument? Bills, but the, Bills, the got, Bills also got beat in the AFC Championship game. Three years ago. By who? Three years ago. And, and the Cowboys have not seen an, an NFC Championship and game in 20 years. Oh, but we can't be they bragging about teams getting beat, though. Yes. Like, they both get beat. They both get beat. They both get beat. They both get beat. We'll take them both off Right now. Right now. Right now. Hold on. Hold on, 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 hold on
at 30. <laughs> I'm out. We got. I'm out. We saying a lot of things right now. All right. I just want to make sure I, for clarity purposes. Yeah, right. Y'all, y'all picking. Pick one. Y'all are picking Dak Prescott as a better quarterback than Josh Allen. Oh, I will leave the coach combo. combination. Okay. 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 Yes. Uh, let me get there. So Mike McCarthy it has the, to be sick as that much better yes. than McDermott. Correct. As Josh Allen is better Dak Prescott. than Dak Prescott. Mm, correct. That's I think right. So. And that's enough. To move yes. Dak Prescott yeah. and Mike McCarthy right. over Josh yes. Allen yeah. and, and McDermott. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. So, wait, wait, wait. so Josh Allen is, is a way bigger margin better than Dak Prescott compared to Sean McDermott and McCarthy, right? I believe the gap between McCarthy and McDermott is. is as sizable as the gap between Josh Allen and Dak. Can I ask you a question? Because I don't know if you guys forgot, but you know the, the Cowboys, he's a head coach, right? Mm-hmm. He's not an off-court, he's a head coach. Head coach. They were the most penalized team for, for a couple years ago. We talking about years, W's, though. Couple couple years ago. Ago. Oh, wait, oh, so as, a, hold up, but as a coach, right? As a coach, does that matter? It absolutely matters. Oh, okay. Because Sean McDermott's seen here, they're going to be prepared. They're going to be prepared and they ain't going to have them type of issues right. to lose in the So you're saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, talk Cowboys. W's though. I'm just saying. Coach Mike has more W. As a coach, I need my team to be prepared and be smart. Come on, man. Shady's the penguin. If you still having some penalties and finding ways to win, kudos to the Dallas Cowboys. I don't like like penalties. I don't don't, like penalties. Shady said take them both off. He's talking penalties. Yeah, take them out. (laughs) All Cowboy guys off. I'm good. (laughs) All right, family, when we return. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.